What do you think of the Kings, Struddy? Is it one of those things where it's like the oil got it done last year and they, you know, they won the series or are you still kind of like that Kings team is scary, man. And if they start getting into lockdown mode, this could be a problem. Well, I think you got to give Rob Blake a lot of credit. He's done oh, yeah. a really good job on that team. Really, really good job. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at those two centers. Like, if you're looking at two-way centers in the NHL, are they amongst at least the top ten top for, for two-way center? And they're not afraid of McDavid and Drysaddle. They they love it. That's in has got a lot of confidence. And Kopitar has, you know, a lot of hardware to prove how good he is. And then I think you look, um, you know, through their lineup. And, and that third line, and I'm just guessing it's going to be Lazat, I follow and Fiala, if he comes back. That's a really good third line. That's a really good third line. So, you know, for the Oilers, they, they've improved a ton. And I know Drew Doughty wasn't in last year, and Arbison wasn't there, and Fiala wasn't there. Well, the Oilers, they didn't have, you know, uh, Ekholm. They didn't have a real healthy um, dry cell, even though he was still pretty good. You know, they didn't have, uh, you know, Stu Skinner, Jack Campbell, uh, Bukestad, Costin. So they, their lineup has changed, and, and even Vinny Darren It was a much different lineup we're talking about now for both teams. So, yeah, I think we can look back on last year and say, well, it's, you know, this obviously they won or this or that, but both teams have upgraded. So I think it'll be even a harder series to win for either team. Yeah, I agree. That's the one thing you look at it like, I don't know if there's a layup, and it's easy to go out. Ah, the Oilers have been the hottest team, and, you know, Vegas has been the hottest team. Like, if you look at since the trade deadline, it is. It's, it's Vegas, it's uh, been the Oilers. Obviously, the Bruins continue to roll. But I don't know if the margin is just so great on any of these series where you're just like, that's a lock to happen. Because as we know, in the playoffs, there it comes down to some intangibles. It comes down to a coin flip in certain situations. What would make the Oilers, I guess, their intangibles push through over L.A.? I think that they now, Noodles, they're, they're comfortable in low-scoring games. And, you know, in the past, we've seen them be in low-scoring games and they're trying to force it, right? They're like, oh, oh, I got a little chance. I'm going to try to burst through. Then it backfires on them. And now instead of being 0-0 or one nothing for their team, now it's 2 nothing. And I think that, you know, specifically those two games against L.A., they were both low-scoring games. And I know that L.A. was missing some players. I get that. But at the same time, they're, they're comfortable in low-scoring games. And Connor McDavid said last night, last night after the game, he said, we can now win games in different ways. And I agree with him. I, I, I did not feel that last year, even going to the playoffs. But if you're looking at their power play, pretty good. Penley kill is really trending the right direction the last 20 games or so. Uh, you want to play physical? Yeah, they can handle that as well. You want to play a low-scoring game? They've shown they can do that in, in the last, let's say, 40 games, which is something they didn't have before. So a lot of areas now of their game is kind of being uh, you know, ticked off, you know, checked off. Um, and I, and I think they're amongst some of the favorites in the West. You know, I had, last year I felt it was Colorado, and I, I still am nervous about Colorado, though that Landis Cog news yesterday, that changes things, I think, a little bit. Uh, but they still are with Kale McCarr. They're not the same team without Kale McCarr. When he's in there in the lineup and rolling, he is to that team what McDavid is to the winners. 